So in this video, we're going to talk about the new extra time packs, where the new extra time exchanges are, as well as we're going to talk about the market crash and why you are not getting uh, those FC point packs in FC Mobile as well. So make sure to like and subscribe if you're excited for it. So first of all, we're going to go out and talk about those FC, FC point packs because a lot of you are asking why you cannot get them right now. And the reason behind that is that if you are on iPhone, first of all, which I am right now, you're not going to be able to find that pack at all. Okay, you're not going to be able to find that pack on iPhone or on iOS at all. Um, you were never able to find that pack for free to get a fr uh, some free um, FC points, which is 150 FC points, or to get um, like 95 to 101 overall player pack as well. You were not able to get that pack. But if you are if you are on Android, you were able to get those packs. But right now they have been taken away, so you're not gonna be able to get those packs either on Android right now. You were able to when I made that video, but right now unfortunately no one is able to get those packs anymore. If you didn't already open open that pack for free, you're not going to be able to open them anymore because they are gone already, right? I'm pretty sure some people on Android even then weren't able to get them. And maybe that's because it was only possible to open uh, in some regions. I'm not sure I've heard that one as well, that um, it was only able to, you, you can only open it in certain regions in certain, uh, certain countries, but I'm not hundred percent sure right now, though, if you haven't opened them yet, even on Android, even on those certain, in, in those certain countries, you are unfortunately not going to be able to open those FC points packs. Uh, packs. But now uh, that it's all clear, uh, we're going to go and talk about extra time packs. We've got new refresh for extra time packs, right? We've got new refresh with uh, top, not top 50 packs. They're not called that one anymore. Um, it is top event picks as well as uh, we've got selected player picks. Now, this one is a pick, is a pick from one out of five players one out of five cards and it gives us 95 to 101 overall mixed version player pack and the other one uh, that one costs 1000 um, market pick tokens of course and the other one is top event pick which costs 3000 um, of those market pick tokens it is a pick from one out of four and you're gonna be able to get hall of legends or um or, or rs which is retro stars player and i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure it is um like uh, 97 plus right yep it is a 97 plus overall player pack but now what's the problem with that one is that you're not able to get any market pick tokens right now if you go into the exchanges we should be getting another tab just like we had for quite a while already for market pick tokens we should be able to get those market pick tokens um to when we uh, when we go ahead and exchange like 96 overall cards 93 stuff like that you should be able to get those market pick tokens but they have been taken away now i've heard on twitter that they are going to come back tomorrow. So be ready for that. Be ready to have your players still in your squad and uh, make sure you go ahead and get those market pick tokens uh, if you want to go ahead and open new extra time packs. Just maybe, I feel like they might be taken away just because uh, we might be getting new versions of market pick tokens. Like we're going to be getting um, like a different amount of market pick tokens for 96 overall cards and stuff like that. Or maybe we can now uh, put like 97, 98 overall cards um, into those exchanges as well, but I'm not 100% sure, okay? I'm not 100% sure if it's gonna be same, um, if you're gonna be able to get same amount of market pick tokens, but most likely in the next refresh, which is tomorrow, we are gonna be getting brand new market pick token packs or exchanges and you can get those uh, tokens to open extra time packs. But now let's go ahead and talk about the market crash. As you know, we've got new extra time packs. And because of those new extra time packs, a lot of people had those points, those tokens saved up, of course, and they've opened this pack as well as this pack. And because of that reason, a lot of pl uh, players have gone down in price in the market. Mostly, not, not really 101 or 100 overall cards. Mostly, if you go ahead and take a look at those cards, mostly, obviously, uh, the two new events that we've got, which is Retro Stars. And what was the other one? I forgot the other, other one's name. Let me go ahead and double check it, actually, um, which is right there. And the other one is Hall of Legends. Yep, Hall of Legends and Retro Stars event. Most mostly those cards have gone down in price so for example this card um carlos alberto has gone down a little bit in price as you can see right there but not really uh, it didn't really affect too much to 101 overall cards even one once look at that fernandez uh, ferdinand sorry real ferdinand there are quite a few people trying to sell this card um there are all, a lot of people trying to sell this daglish card as well 
and he used to be 486 mil now he's 350 mil so this one one overall cards even these cards have gone down quite quite a bit in price if you take a look at the color look at that he is now 195 some 95 million coins um if you go ahead and take a look at someone like Cannavaro, he did go down in price as well uh in some other cards as well they are going down in price one of ones no it didn't really affect too much to one of ones as i said but yeah, it did affect to some 101s, it did affect to some 100 overalls, mainly those Hall of Legends and Retro Stars players. You can see a lot of people are trying to sell this Rykard card, card as well. Um, a lot of people are trying to sell uh, most of these 100 overall cards as well. Rudiger has gone down quite a lot in price to like 190 million coins as well, but it did really affect to 99 overall cards as well. If you take a look at someone like Cloyward, even Cloyward has gone down to like 90, 100 million coins, uh, but some of these players, Ribery, let's Let's go ahead and take a look at the ribbery you can see look how many people are trying to sell the uh sell this card 150 people are trying to sell this ribbery card right there but um, tomorrow when we get new market pick tokens a lot more player uh, people are going to be able to open those packs of course right a lot more uh, people are going to be opening those new extra time packs and i feel like tomorrow the prices might go down a little bit more but i feel like they're not going to go down too much in the next few weeks okay in the next few weeks i feel like they're going to get to uh, get back to their price to whatever price they were and they're going to rise again so you can definitely make some coins with this not really sure what what, uh, what investments you should make right now because i haven't been looking um at it really but you can definitely make some coins if you go on and take a nine take a look at 98 overall cards 97s all that you can see that the prices have been dropping to most of these cards right there and if you take a look at like 95 96 97 overall cards it really is the prices are really really dropping quite a lot for those cards as well because we can get any 95 96 overall cards look at that so many people are trying to sell these cards right there um under herrera look at that a lot of people are trying to buy that card as well probably because of investments right a lot of people are investing in these cards as well uh, we've got campos there a lot of people trying to sell and buy this card it's really really weird when you look at it to be fair um but yeah pr prices have definitely dropped quite a bit in pr uh, players have dropping uh, definitely dropped quite a bit in price but i feel like they're gonna get back to their uh, prices way very soon right in two weeks new uh these mark extra time packs are gonna be refreshing as well in a week i'm pretty sure the one uh the the bottom one this one is gonna be refreshing up in six days in a week pretty much and this one is gonna refresh in two weeks but yeah i feel like it's not gonna be that big of a deal for that pack for the bomb pack uh the prices are not gonna be changing too much for uh, mostly for higher overall cards but for this one when you when this one refreshes in about two weeks as well prices are gonna drop again but before that i feel like every single day the prices are gonna be gradually increasing that's that's what i think right now but yeah definitely there has been a market crash if you want to or get some market pick tokens as well you'll have to wait for tomorrow we've still got retro star cement right now of course so let me know down in the comment section if you are enjoying retro star cement we've got week three you can go ahead and play week three in retro arcade right now and get yourselves uh these uh retro points retro score tickets and then you need to go ahead and get into retro rewards of course and open those top two packs get 91 overall mashrano another one for free and the 97 to 100 overall player pack to get free 98 to 100 after and also get a free 99 overall crystal storage go for free right there let me know down in the comment section if you're enjoying it i feel like it's quite boring i can get something for free here right you have 94 to 99 overall player pack let me go ahead and open that for free right now let's see if you can get a 99 overall i really really doubt it but we'll see i'll, t I'll take it if you get if you can get something good obviously but it's lagging there we go we finally opened it and it is going to be french it's going to be a goalkeeper okay that's hugo loris that's that should be yeah that's nine oh that's giro actually not loris